Hello, and welcome to the Southern Bible Thumper channel. For this upload, we will be reading Exodus chapter 24. And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord, thou, and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord hath said will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars, according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood, and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant, and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord hath said will we do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood, and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant, which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moses, and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone, and as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hand. Also they saw God, and they did eat and drink. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me, and to the mount, and be there. And I will give thee tables of stones, and a law, and commandments which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up, and his minister Joshua. And Moses went up into the mount of God. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us, until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and Hur are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring to fire was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and gat him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount forty days and forty nights. Summarizing chapter 24, God says to Moses, Come up to the Lord with Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and seventy Israelite elders, but worship at a distance. Moses can approach alone. In verse 3, Moses recanted the words and the rules God gave him, and the Israelites agreed to live by them. Verse 4, Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He woke up early, built an altar at the bottom of the mountain. He then built twelve pillars, and a pillar is a firm, upright support for a superstructure. These twelve pillars each represented uh, the tribes of Israel, in the tribes of Israel, the first mention of it is Genesis chapter 49. Moses sent young men to make offerings of oxen to the Lord. He took half of the blood in the basins and splattered half on the other. Moses read from the book of the covenant. The Israelites agreed to the terms. And then Moses sprinkled the blood on the Israelites in verse 8 and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant that the Lord made with you now, with these words, Moses, Aaron, Nadab, Abidu, and 70 elders went up. They saw the God of Israel. Under God's feet was a clear sapphire stone. In verse 11, they ate and drank in his presence. In verse 12, God tells Moses that he's written tablets of stone of commandments for him to teach. Moses and Joshua went up. Moses appointed Aaron to be in charge of the 70 elders while Moses was away directly speaking to, to God on his own. Moses went up. God covered the area with the cloud for six days. And in verse 17, the Lord manifested himself as a devouring fire on the top of the mountain to the Israelites. And Moses went into the cloud. Moses was up there 40 days and 40 nights. 
Chapter 24 highlights. In the beginning of this chapter, all God said to do was to bring a certain number of people up and worship at a distance. That's all God told Moses to do. Moses reacts by first reiterating God's commands given in chapter 20 through, through 23. And then he wrote them down in chapter 24, verse 4. My interpretation, when it says that he was reading from the Book of the Covenant, that the Book of the Covenant was what Moses wrote down after getting all of those commands from God in chapter 20 through 23. That's my interpretation, and I that's all I have to back up that claim, is the Book of the Covenant is what Moses just wrote. A book defined is a set of written sheets or a long written or printed itinerary. So that's, if you just write several things down, you know, a lot of papers down that can be considered a book. And that's, you know, Moses wrote in verse four, the laws, the commands that God gave him. So Also want to just reemphasize that um, Moses saw fit to write down what God said to him. He thought it was important to write. So again, God only told Moses at the beginning of the chapter to bring these certain number of people up and worship him at a distance. And Moses sprinkled blood on the people and made an offering, and God didn't specifically instruct him to do that. This was a religious ritual, and you know, I mean, maybe he had good intentions, maybe this was just supposed to be something to just honor God, but God didn't tell him to build a superstructure with the pillars, honoring the 12 tribes of Israel. God didn't tell him to do that. He didn't tell him to sprinkle people with blood. And I just read that again because I thought to myself, if I was at church and someone tried to sprinkle anything on me, the first thing I would think is, is your hand, are your hands clean? You know, and then is the stuff that you're sprinkling clean? How long has it been sitting out? I don't want you to get it in my hair. That's what I'd be thinking about, sprinkling blood. And then when I read it again, God didn't tell him to do that. Moses just did it. And God didn't intervene. But he didn't tell him to do that. He didn't tell him to build an altar. None of that. All he said was, worship me over there. That's all he said. And Moses got all of this out of it. So sometimes people do things with good intentions without specific leadership from God. That's one reason why it's so important to read the word for yourself. So that if someone decides they want to do something with good intentions without God's specific instruction you can have some sort of discernment. 24, 24 verse 12. God gave Moses written tablets of the stone of commandments. But it doesn't say how many commandments were on the stones. So, I mean, the code of conduct, all of these commands or instructions that God was giving Moses spans from chapter 20 through chapter 23. Lastly, God appeared as a fire to the Israelites, but as a cloud to Moses. And then Moses was up there with God 40 days and 40 nights. That's all for chapter 24. The next upload will be chapter 25. Thank you for watching.